Hey guys, I want to bring you a little short video this week. Uh, I'm working on a project right now, but I just wanted to do this in the meantime. Uh, this one is, I want to show you guys that may not know, uh, this little device called a Kerf Maker. It is extremely accurate for making dados. And the way this works, it helps you to find the thickness of your saw blade here uh, because it is extremely frustrating if you're trying to make a dado trying to measure offset measure um, and this thing really takes the guesswork out of it and so the first thing you want to do is take a scrap block of wood doesn't matter what size what you know as long as it's just a square piece of wood not you know cut at a funky angle or something like that just square so anyway we're going to take and we're going to knock the corner off of this thing so if you basically set it back in there like it would be before you cut it you notice there's an offset and so how that would work is you take this piece the largest piece put it against that then you set the red piece which is your offset for your curve and you lock that down so that sets the curve and you may have to go back and forth just to get it fine-tuned uh, but then you would come up and we're going to we're going to say this is what we're running our data through uh, but we're deciding we're going to put this piece of walnut in there it's not going to stay there so don't worry about that uh, you would take your material, put it in there, pretty snug, and then you lock that down. And then you decide where you want to run your dado through. And for me, I'll, we'll start right there. Looks like a good spot. We want to make sure this blade is lowered back down to about half the thickness of the board. And it's easier to keep this over here. So our first cut. And you take and offset that. So this is the offset, the thickness of the board. Put that over and butt it up there. That should establish the thickness of your board, and then we just take and hog away the rest of this. So now, fingers crossed, a nice dado. That one's a, a bit loose, but it's, you know, no slop in it. You can always adjust that with a, just fine tuning this part. And, uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's dead on accurate. You know, really no gaps. Although you can go in here with a router plane or a chisel and clean that up and make a flat bottom. So anyway, that'll be the video on this, and I was just going to pass this along. You can buy those at Amazon. Uh, I could probably link the one I've used here. Uh, and I want to say a quick thank you to my subscribers. I'd ask that uh, if you're not subscribed to do that, and give me a like, throw any comments in there, and I thank you.